What's up, Bearded Broskies? Welcome to the Bearded Banshee Show, where we're going to talk about all things bearded. If you would, show me some bearded love by hitting like and subscribe below. Guys, I hope you're in for a treat tonight. We've got a great episode lined up for you. Um, the first segment of my show is going to be... I bet you're wondering who this is. This is Earl. Tell you what, guys. Earl has been begging me for weeks to put him on the show. And I kept telling him, no, you can't do it. You know, it's just not your thing. And he swore up and down that he was going to rock this thing tonight. So, Earl, tonight's your night, bud. Your time to shine. Go ahead and give him what you got. Earl. Oh, okay. So you're gonna be quiet on me all of a sudden. You've been talking all week how you were gonna come on this show and you were just gonna rock it. Then you even started growing a beard and everything. I see your little stubbles coming in and now you wanna be all quiet and wanna say shit? All right. We'll get back to you a little bit, Earl. You just sit there and get your limelight in. Um, all right, guys. Don't forget after the video to check out these guys right here, the Permafrost Beard guys. Then you got the uh, uh, Badass Beard Company, and then you got the Beard Club right here. Sorry, I kind of get them mixed up sometimes. Um, just depending on how many of these bad boys I'll be having. But yeah, after the video, don't forget to go check these guys out. Um, again, that's a Badass Beard Company. You got the Beard Club, and you got the Purple Frost Beards. Just had to say that again to make sure I got it right. All right. Uh, the first segment of our show tonight is going to be Bearded Banshees, Beard Facts. What do you think about that, Earl? You'll be right up your alley, don't you think? Are you all mad? You're sitting there all mad like you mean mugging me. Were you the one that said that you was going to give us a hell of a show tonight? And now you want to sit there and not want to say nothing? Oh, okay, okay. You want to talk about some beard facts? You've been waiting on beard facts. Okay, well, guess what? It's the beard fact time. All right, here we go. This guy. All right, beard fact number one. Did you know that beards will reduce allergies and asthma? You did know that, huh? Oh, well. So I assume that you also knew that the reason that beards uh, reduce uh or reduce the allergies and asthma is because it acts like a filtration system, right? I mean, the dust particles and stuff, I mean, they have a little bit of trouble trying to get through that, you know, beard, that manly beard, that mustache, and I mean, you obviously don't have one, but you get, hey, hey, it's all right. You'll get there. My bad, I didn't mean to come at you like that. Don't get all mad. Um, sitting there with that shit eating grin on your face. All right. Uh, number two. Uh, Having a beard actually shows that you have patience and discipline. Um, it takes somebody with a lot of patience to grow a beard. Um, it does take a long time. So, I mean, now we all know everybody don't have patience. Not everybody's going to have the patience. But hey, if you do get the patience, you do have the patience, you do have the discipline, stick it out. It's well worth it. Um, but it just depends on a few things. Um, like we said in my last video, um, it just depends on how well your, um, your eating habits are, your exercising habits, your sleep habits, um, how well you take care of yourself, you know, what you put into your body, um, and uh, genetics as well will play a role there. Um, but there's a few factors there that'll, um, that'll play into to a good, healthy beard. So if you guys make sure you're eating right, um, getting enough sleep, you're exercising daily, um, and uh, hey, drink a couple Bud Lights every once in a while, it always helps the beard grow, all right? Um, let's go number three here. It's a great hobby. Um, it's a great hobby. A, a lot of guys, you know, especially right now with the uh, quarantine um, going on, COVID and stuff, um, I mean, we run out of things to watch on Netflix and TV. I know you, he's hung up on the Umbrella Academy. Um, I've seen it, it's really good. Um, but uh, yeah, that's, it's a good call, it's a good call. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, we get tired of watching, you know, Netflix and Hulu and how many times have you seen Stranger Things? Four times. It's on a Stranger Things kick. Tell you what, man, that, that Netflix and that Hulu, boy, that'll, you'll get lost in that hole. Um, but uh, for uh, it, it's a great hobby. Growing a beard is a great hobby, guys. Um, it gives you, you know, something to do with your time. It gives you something, you know, to, to learn about, uh, about yourself. Um, it, you know, kind of helps build your character a little bit, build your self-confidence, um, build your pride. Um, cause whenever you start from nothing and then you watch your hair grow and you tame it and you take care of it and you put the love into it. And when you see that love coming back to you, you can't help but to walk around and sit there and show a little beard love every once in a while. You know, it feels good. Feels good. All right. Number four, Bearded Banshee's beard fact is, did you know that the razor company, Gillette, in a promotional, asked ZZ Top to shave their beards for $1 million? Oh, you do it? <laughs> you do it, huh? You that guy. I might be that guy too. <laughs> I don't know, a million dollars. But uh, real, real talk. Um, the guys at ZZ Top were offered one million dollars um, by Gillette to shave their beards as a promotional. Um, they turned it down. That is some dedicated bearded broskies that would turn down a million dollars to get their beard chopped off. Um, granted, you know they probably have already, you know, got enough in the bank to where they may not need that million, you know, like you or I would right now. But uh, uh. It kind of also reminds me of the guy in the last video where he had uh, committed a crime and grew his beard out while he was in jail. And before they, you know, decapitated, he asked if he could um, chop his beard off because he wanted to spare his beard because um, his beard did not commit the crime. So it shows a, a lot uh, about the bond between a man and his beard. Um, it becomes part of him, uh, part of his soul almost. So, um, it's a great hobby. It starts off as a great hobby, but uh, it's life-altering, guys. Life-altering. Beard love. Beard love. All right. Um, number five. Number five bearded banshee beard fat. While filming Hercules, The Rock wore yak testicles on his face as a beard. <laughs> it took three hours to apply every single day. Now, why would you use yak testicle hair? You've done it? <laughs> You've done that? <laughs> why would you do that? Don't say that again. Don't say, we're not going to repeat that. We're not going to repeat that. All right. Okay. Moving on. Uh, moving on. Um, that right there uh, kind of actually concludes Bearded Banshee's uh, top five beard facts of the week. Um, you sit there and drink your beer there, Earl. Um, all right. Um, the next segment of our show tonight. Um, yes, you can drink your beer on the show. That's why I got it for you. You ask for a beer, I got you a beer. It's easy, just like this. Tastes good, too. All right, the next segment of our show tonight, guys, is going to be called um, our special guest. Uh, our special guest tonight actually is going to be uh, my son, Blade, uh, my oldest son, Um and uh, we're going to be tracking his beard growth. He's uh, starting growing his beard out. Um, so we're going to talk to him a little bit about it, you know, kind of ask him a few questions about, you know, his beard growth and, and uh, what his plans are for it, you know. So, hey, let's bring, let's bring Blade in and see what he has to say here. All right, Bearded Broskies, I'm back here with Earl and my oldest son, Blade, here. Done. All right, so Blade's going to um, start growing his beard out. Um, so, uh, we're going to track his progress from week to week. Um, you're going to see him on the show. Um, and, uh, he's just going to kind of talk to you a little bit about, you know, some of the, uh, things that he's going through while growing a beard, which is great. Um, especially for all you beginners out there. 
Um, so, uh, Blade, um, great to have you on the show. Nice to be here. All right, let's go ahead and get to the first question here. All righty. Um, hold on. Let me go first. You can go. You can go in a little bit. I'm gonna go first. All right. Um, what was uh, what was one of the reasons why you wanted to start growing your beard? I you know I. Uh... As you know, I used to have a beard before. I loved it. It was, uh, it was a nice experience having the beard. Mm -hmm. And then once I was able to start growing one again, I knew I just had to. So why did you have to stop growing a beard? Uh, that's whenever I joined the, uh, the military. Had to shave it for boot camp. And then every day after that, just shaving every single day. Makes sense. Makes sense. That made you do the same thing too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he was... This guy. All right. Um, so number two here, what are some of the challenges that you face um, while growing a beard? I say the first massive one was the itchiness of the neck. Yeah, I wasn't used to it for a while, so uh, a little irritation. It's when you go to sleep, starts poking into you. You start to uh, kind of get used to it. Used to having it in certain spots. That, that that's a good point um, uh, for all you uh, beginners out there. Um, you're definitely going to run into a lot of itch. Um, you guys got to fight the itch. Um, it, it's just something that you're going to have to power through. It won't last too long. Maybe a, a few weeks. Um, like Blade said, you'll start to get used to it. Um, and before you know it, you won't even feel it anymore. Um, so that's, a, that's actually a, a good struggle there. Mm -hmm. It really is. It's a, it's a struggle that all of us bearded bros know about. Um, so anybody try growing their beard out, they know about it. And a lot of people actually start shaving um because of that point so if you guys can fight the itch fight the itch all right um so what are some of the goals that you have um uh, for growing a beard where, where are you trying to get to so i originally wanted to get a little a little bit longer mm -hmm. but uh, i'm gonna try to just start off just kind of small just right off my face just all of it like all of my face covered but to a degree. I don't okay. want it too long yet. Okay, so so you don't want it like hanging yeah. like way down here. Not yet. You I just kind of want won't. it like maybe formed yes. on your face, just covered exactly. nice and neat. Okay, okay, I can respect that. That's cool. Um, well, I'll tell you what, um, you're definitely going to have to check out my videos that I made in the past if you haven't already. I'm just going to tell you um, and all you beginners out there, go check out my other videos on uh, Beard Banshee's Beard Tips. Um, it'll tell you um, what kind of products to use, um, how to use the products, um, and so that way you can uh, get your beard to grow um, exactly how you want it to. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, what we're going to do for you tonight to get you started on the Bearded Banshee Show here is we're going to hook you up with a little starter pack. Oh, nice. That's what I'm talking about. All right, here. So in your starter pack, we're going to start you off here with a little brush right here. All righty. Okay. Swine hair brush. Nice. Um, and uh, since you're just starting off, you really don't need a comb right now, but yeah. a brush right there will kind of help start to guide those uh, hairs Forming. in the direction that you want them to, to grow. Because it's very important that uh, you brush your beard for at least twice a day. One, you know, once in the morning and then once at night. Um, also, what I got for you here is some uh, beard oil, courtesy of the Beard Club nice sandalwood scent right there Ooh. and i also have some sandalwood beard butter from the uh, beard club that i'm gonna give you right there sandalwood beard butter. so there's a little starter kit um for you there um again um you guys see that it's uh, coming in nice right now um how long you been growing it out so far uh, about two weeks so far two weeks about two weeks you're on three weeks <laughs> earl's on three earl said he's <laughs> on three weeks and it's just we're not laughing at you. We're not. I mean, again, it's coming in nice, Earl. Yeah, it's coming in nice, Earl. You heard him. Um, just might want to pick up the, you know, run in the exercise and maybe eat a little bit better. It'll yeah. come a little bit. Get to faster. the scratchy face. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and got a few little patches there. It'll, it'll try. It'll, you'll, you'll work through it. Uh, we're not making fun of you. We're not making fun of you. We're trying to help you because we love you. That's what we're here for, <laughs> Beer Broski. All right. So there's your starter pack right there. Um, so, uh, I, thanks for coming on to the show yeah, tonight, um, nice. but, uh, before, um, I let you go, uh, we're, we do a little thing every week. Uh, we do a, a Bearded Banshees, uh, game. Um, so I got a game lined up for you guys tonight. Game lined up, huh? Um, we're going to bring in, uh, Aiden, AKA Shooter, 
and uh, we're gonna put these two together, let them go head to head in a all new game called Bearded Bat uh, Bearded Banshee's Backwood Obstacle Course. Woo! Let's go get to it, y'all. All right, Bearded Broskies, I'm back here with Aiden, AKA Shooter. I got Blade here. We're back here for the Bearded Banshee's <laughs> Backyard Obstacle. I uh, hope you guys are ready. It's about to get lit. All right, who's going first? Aiden going first. All right, Aiden's going first. Let's see what this kid's got. We're gonna time him. Whoever can make it through this obstacle the fastest wins. All right, let's get to it. All right, come over here to your first station. And whenever I say go, Back here with Aiden, aka Shooter. He knocked it out in one minute, 17 seconds. This kid put up a hard fight. Let's see what Blade got to do. All right, so in case you guys haven't picked it up yet, um, they got to do 10 jump ropes. They got to do 10 run around the stool. Uh, they got to dump the syrup and the pancake mix on their head. Then they got to do the tire crawl. Then they got to come over here and do the dizzy bat five times. Then they got to go grab the egg Carry it with this down spoon on the slip and slide to the end where they gotta smash yourself in the face where their time will officially end. All right, this guy over here is ready. He thinks he's gonna beat 117. Let's go see what he's got. Drop and start all over. Grab the pie, grab the pie, keep the face. Time! Woo, let's go here and take time. 
All right, guys, over here with Blade. He clocked in at 145. <laughs> so close, super close. But our winner tonight goes to Aiden, AKA Shooter. Uh, still undefeated in the games. Uh, let's go get this, get a prize. All right, Beardy Broskies. I hope y'all enjoyed the game. Um, we had a blast. These guys had a blast. Um, Aiden coming in, first prize here. We got a little gift card for you. Uh, $20 to one of these favorite restaurants. Um, if you want, go ahead and uh, take your brother out to eat or something. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Yeah. There you go. Thanks for, tuning, thanks for playing on uh, the game this week. Hey, go, we'll see you next me. week. Um, you'll get a shot. Don't worry. Hang on. You'll, you'll get to play. You'll get to play. All right. Uh, this guy's all amped up and excited. You know, he was, gifts cards started flying. He's like, how do I do it? How do I get in? How do I play? <laughs> you'll get your chance. All right, guys. Um, again, thanks for watching the, uh, tonight's game. Uh, we're going to move on to the next segment. Um, next segment of our show uh, is going to be called Bearded Banshees, Beard Tips. Let's get into it. Uh, first, we're going to let these guys go so they can go get a All shot. Right, Bearded Broskies. I'm back here with Earl, and we're going to get straight to the segment of Bearded Banshees, Beard Tips of the Week. Our first beard tip is probably our most important beard tip, and that is let your hair go down to your Adam's apple, guys. Um, a lot of people make the rookie mistake um of shaving their neckline all up into their like where their jawline is um and uh that keeps your beard from going in nice and full and you know just giving it that real manly healthy look um so what happens is whenever you uh just shave up to your neckline that hair will just only grow straight down from here and start to curl up it'll start to split like this um, and uh, it just won't grow in nice and healthy. So you really need all this underneath to be just as long as all this up here in the front. Um, so first beer tip is let your hair grow down to your Adam's apple, okay? All right, number two, use beard oil or beard butter. How many times, Earl? That's right, twice a day. You said it, but twice a day. Um, you have to use it twice a day, uh, so that way um, your uh, beard uh, whiskers, you know, soak in all the essential oils and stuff, um, and uh, that way they don't get dried out, uh, you know, dead ends and things like that that could cause uh, uh, beard growth to, to come to a screeching halt. We don't want that. Um, uh, the third beard tip that we have is uh, you got to have a, a right beard comb or a beard brush. Um, whenever you're first starting out, you probably don't want to use a beard comb um, just because it'll just be hard to, to comb because there's not a lot to comb. So I recommend starting off with a brush. Uh, so brush, a little bit of oil um, will go a long ways with just starting out. Um, you guys, whenever you're just first starting growing out your beard, you want to be careful not to use a whole bunch of oil because what's gonna happen is you're gonna walk around with a shiny face. Um, you know, you may not see it or something, but you step out into the to, to the uh, light, uh, the, the sun or something, and bam, it's just gonna be like gleaming. And everybody's gonna be staring at you and you don't know why. Yeah, that's a rookie mistake. Um, and uh, we all make rookie mistakes, ain't that right, Earl? All right, all right. Well, you got a little shot on your face there. <laughs> you didn't use too much beard oil, did you? <laughs> all right. Um, so don't use too much beard oil um, like our buddy Earl here. Um, so beard tip number four is do not wash daily. You only need to wash your beard once or twice a week. Um, why, you ask? Um, the re okay, Earl, go ahead. Fine. I know I've been talking a lot. Go ahead, do your thing. I'm going to sit and drink my beer. Earl, you say you wanted to tell them about why you do not wash your beard daily. All right. All of a sudden, he want to get quiet from shit, like uh, his mouth is zipped up. All right. I don't even know why I got you on the show. Uh, so the reason that you don't wash your beard uh, daily is because you don't want to wash out all those essential oils that you're putting in there twice a day. You're like zeroing it out. It don't make no damn sense. Um, so... Uh, beard oil, beer butter twice a day. Uh, wash your beard once, twice a week, max. 
and uh, you should have a nice, healthy looking beard all the time that shines and glistens. That's right. Show us some beard love. Show us some beard love. Number five, the last beard tip that we have for you guys tonight is don't spend a lot of money on products uh, like your beard growth uh, pills and beard growth uh, liquids and oils. And uh, guys, when you're just starting out, you don't need to spend a lot of money. Um, that's where these guys right here, the Beard Club, okay? I highly recommend these for new, for beginners. Um, it only costs a dollar each for one of these. Um, and it's gonna last you a long time, especially just starting out. Um, so don't spend a lot of money on them. Get you a good brush with uh, swine hair, uh, pig hair uh, bristles. Um, get you a good uh, ox horn comb and pick up a few of these things right here and you guys will be set. If you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to your brushes and combs, go check out my previous videos, guys. Um, I tell you all about how, uh, what tools to use and how to use them when it comes to perfecting the, the manly beard that you, you know, want to get out of growing a beard. Um, so, uh, those are, uh, Beard Advantage's beard tips of the week. Um, speaking of beard comb. I got you, I got you. Earl, why don't you say let's go ahead and give away another comb? That's right, we're gonna give you guys another comb, okay? Um, we're gonna bring in an ox horn comb made by the Badass Beard Company. Um, check this thing out right here. Brand new, in the box, fine tooth, Badass Beard Company, Ox horn comb. Um, you guys can get this. Um, the way that you get this is you have to like the video. Uh, you have to subscribe to the video. Um, and you have to comment below. So in case you guys missed that, you have to subscribe. You have to comment. You have to like. Subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe, comment, like. Subscribe, comment, like. You got it. All right. So, uh, subscribe, comment, like. We'll get you guys into a drawing on next week's video. And uh, we'll see who gets a free beer, uh, badass beard comb um, coming your way. Um, what do you think about that, Earl? It's pretty cool that we do something like this for these guys, right? Yeah. What are you going to give away? Tickets. Did you say tickets to the Dallas Cowboys game? Hold up. Hold up. I gotta get in on that drawing. You let me know when that's going down and I'm gonna be there, okay? I tell you what, you can get in my drawing for my beard comb if I can get in yours for the Cowboys tickets. <laughs> All right, that sounds like a deal to me. All right, we to bring Earl on the show more often. Um, all right, we're also um, going to give away some uh, beard butter uh, right here, courtesy of the uh, beard guys right here, the beard company. Uh, we're going to throw in one of these beard butters with your beard comb. Um, and uh, that's going to do it for our giveaway this week, guys. Um, so we got one last topic. Um, it's the Bearded Banshee's uh, favorite section of the, the week, you might say. Uh, I know we do a lot of fun stuff. You know, we play the games. You know, we, we do the giveaways. Um, and the tips are always super helpful. Um, and facts are just cool, right? And, I mean, let's plug some videos. I mean, the Beard of Banshee's always plugging his videos, right? Um, so, go check out my videos. All the Beard of Banshee beard tips that you're going to need to survive the bearded apocalypse, okay? Um, but, uh, no, my favorite section of the week is um, Beard of Banshee's surprise topic. Um, a surprise topic, um, in case you guys don't know, is um, my wife, a.k.a. the Lady of the Pines, um, comes up with about five questions. She writes uh, five random questions on uh, pieces of paper and put them in the cup here. And I have no idea what they are. Um, and what I do is I draw one and uh, we have a little discussion about it and you get the Bearded Banshee's 100% um, opinion and thoughts on it. Okay, which is always super cool because I like to keep it real. I like to keep it 100 with you guys. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Mix this thing up. 
All right, let's see here. Question that we have tonight. Would you rather have the hiccups for the rest of your life or would you rather always feel like you have to sneeze and why? <laughs> That depends. That depends on two factors, but I'll answer the question, but let me tell you why this depends on two factors. Okay. <clears throat> so if you hiccup, and if it's like painful hiccups that you that hurt, okay, that's a whole different story right there. And you guys know what I'm talking about. This shit is just deep, okay? Now when it's sneezing, if it's one of those where your nose is just constantly itching, like mine has been here just a few minutes, and that don't never go away, that's a whole different thing. Um, but I assume this is just based on hiccups alone that just feel fine but are annoying. Um, sneezes that are just the same, you know, they're just annoying but they're there. The bearded banshees, uh, answer on that one is hiccups. I'd rather have hiccups. Let me tell you why. Um, the bearded banshee would rather have hiccups because when you sneeze, you close your eyes. And if I'm constantly sneezing, I can't drive nowhere. Okay, I can't get around. But whenever you have the hiccups, obviously your eyes are open. You're just pissed off at the world all the time. Okay, so, hey, I might be upset, you know, with what's going on. Having the hiccups all the time is just annoying. Can't ever hardly talk to nobody. But at least I can see what's going on. Am I right? Um, we, you know, you know, whenever you sneeze, it's just like your eyes closed. Your eyes closed. You ever tried to sneeze while you're driving? Yeah, you ha you have. You have, what happened? Couldn't do it, could you? You like you about to sneeze now? <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so you just can't do it. I've tried to keep my eyes open, and I mean, your head starts going all sideways and shit. You, I'd rather have hiccups. Uh, Beard Banshee's answer. I'd rather have hiccups. Um. So that's going to go ahead and wrap up uh, tonight's show. Uh, thanks for tuning into the Bearded Banshee Show. Um, don't forget, we got the Ox Horn by the Badass Beard Company that we're going to be giving away on the next episode. What do you got to do? That's right, Earl. You got to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, don't forget to go check out these guys, the Badass Beard Company, uh, the Beard Club, and Permafrost Beards. Um, go check these guys out. Um, don't forget to show me some bearded love again by hitting like and subscribe. Um, till next time, me and Earl's out. We'll see y'all. Peace.